Now, India's Foreign Secretary Harsh Shringla has made a pitch for New Delhi support to Africa at the United Nations Security Council. But the Indian Foreign Secretary backed for an African seat at the Council along with India's partnership for the continent. Now, the African continent, believe it or not, does not even have a single voice amongst the permanent members of the United Nations. Security Council to defend its own interests and India's top diplomat has said that this historical anomaly needs to be corrected by supporting the Ezulvini consensus. Listen in. Africa today is facing serious challenges posed by the growth of terrorism, particularly in the Sahel and Horn of Africa. In this regard, initiatives such as AMISOM, G5 Sahel Joint Force and Multinational Joint Task Force need more robust support from the Security Council and the international community. Now, the African Union's Ezelvini consensus calls for African seats at the top UN body, which has five permanent members. Stringler said that India, of course, welcomes the evolution and rise of Africa as a key factor in the contemporary world. We are committed to supporting African countries in this endeavor as per African priorities and without conditionalities. He further added that India will continue to support Africa's aspirations and work towards empowering Africa for a future that is founded on the principles of inclusivity, sustainability, transparency and socio-economic development with dignity and respect. All right, now to give us more insights in terms of what this actually means, we're joined in by Vyond Siddhan Sibyl, who's joining us live on this broadcast. Good morning to you, Siddhan. Give us more information in terms of what this actually means in, in terms of having an African representative. Well, Mohammed, uh, the comments by the Indian uh, Foreign Secretary is something that is reaffirming the relationship between New Delhi and the African continent. But what stands out this time is that these comments are made at the United Nations Security Council. And at the United Nations Security Council, in that extensive speech by the Indian Foreign Secretary, he basically called on the council for reforms and reforms that has an African member. Remember, right now the core body, the, the United Nations Security Council, has five permanent members, none from the African continent. Today's UNSC represents the world of 1940s, which of course India has number of time uh, raised at many uh, global forums. In fact, uh, uh, last year when the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke at the United Nations General Assembly, he called for reforms. That time, of course, his pitch was uh, an Indian seat and India has been calling for its representation as a large democracy, the largest democracy in the world at the United Nations Security Council. But also India has many times raised the issue of an African seat because Africa has almost more than 50 countries and this continent does not have representation in any manner at the Council. In fact, the agenda of the United Nations Security Council, most of the issues which are discussed at the, at the top body is on West Asia or on Africa and there is no representation so there is no one to represent Africa on these crucial issues. The UNSC does not issue, uh, issues, uh, discusses the issues which of course impacts uh, the five members. In fact, it discusses Africa just to have a diversionary view of what is going in the world. But by and large, another important point that uh, was raised by the Indian Foreign Secretary was uh, the fact that uh, the, uh, the priorities, the the, the, what India is doing in terms of development partnership in Africa is according to the priorities of the African countries. This is interesting right. because uh, without, of course, uh, mentioning China's name, the focus is that India is going to help you according to your needs, unlike what the China is doing and its uh, debt uh, trap diplomacy. All right, we'll have to leave there. Thank you very much indeed, Siddhan Sibyl, for joining